Hey, hey, what is up? YouTube, Andrew Rooney here, full-time drummer and drum teacher based right here in Auckland, New Zealand. We have got a PayPal request for friend of the show, Robert Pretorius. I'm going to get straight to the message here. I'm not even sure what genre this is. This band is all over the place genre-wise. I just love the rhythm. It's not dense or intense, but for me, it's kind of open, flowing, quirky, and engaging. Sounds like my Tinder profile. Early to bed, early to rise makes a woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's why you're wiser than me. It's Stephen. Kind of open, flowing, quirky, and engaging. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. I'm a sensitive Virgo who likes long walks on the beach and poetry by moonlight. I'm looking for the goddess. Are you the goddess? Who is the goddess? The goddess is the woman, is a woman, is any woman, is all women. Kind of open, flowing, quirky, and engaging. I'm a 25-year subscriber to both Playboy and a New Yorker magazine. Maybe it doesn't fit on your channel. If it doesn't, I'm fine with that. I just have the feeling people would like this if they gave it a chance, but my tastes are known to be eclectic and strange. We shall see. This is Eruka Sativa Crio. Let's check it out. Nunca más, porque nadie viva en el cielo 
Wow, I'm speechless on that one. I'm picking Argentinian. I'm going to have a look here. I was thinking the clapping part of it, that cross rhythm on the clapping made me think Spain. But the accent sounded Argentinian. Argentinos, sí o no? Vamos a ver. Eruca sativa. Eruca sativa. No, I'm getting rocket salad. <laughs> Eruca sativa band. This Córdoba, Argentina, lo escuché. El acento. Ya. Very, very interesting. Wow. Wow, the clapping cross rhythm. I don't know what, I'm not going to embarrass myself by, I was really trying hard to remember it. And then we had the, um, uh, I was going to say the the main the lead singer, but I don't even know if she was the lead singer. The, the girl that was in the middle, at least, because they shared vocal duties. One, two, and three. Da, 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 uh, no, sorry. One, two, and three. One, two, and five minutes later. Actually, was that a cross rhythm too? It was like one, two, and three. Four, two, and da, one, two, and three. Da, 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 da. Two, and three, four, five, and six. One, two, and three, four, five, six. I was on six that part. Okay, I didn't even pick that up with all, everything that was happening. I believe the song is in six because of the um, part two and three, four, five, and six. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, you said here, Robert, um, in your comment, I just love the rhythm. It's not dense or intense. I disagree. That was, it was a lot going on. I found that song actually quite beautiful um, and um, from like a also from like an artistic um, the way it was presented now um, I struggle to pick up Spanish in songs um, you know conversational yeah I can pick up things but in, in a song I do struggle a little bit with the um, with the words and, and following the narrative of, of a song. I don't know why, just different accents and, you know, um, you know, words being put to music and phrasing and everything. I do find it a bit hard to follow, but um, yeah, really, really interesting. Never heard of this group in my life, Eruca Sativa. So um, I'm going to have to look into that. Creo, I believe... So yeah, I, I would love to know more about this group. I'll have to have a look at the lyrics and um, and get more uh, context for this song and for this music because it is um, quite something. And I mean, it is a little bit of a eye opener, sort of when you've uh, I don't know when you've travelled a bit um, and when you've I don't know when you've listened to a lot of different stuff. I mean, I've I've listened to. <laughs> A lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff. Um, you start to realize like there's whole scenes in different cultures, right? So, um, for example, Argentina. Tiene las bandas uh, que son famosas en Argentina sola. How dare you? Oh, Latin America. You know, like you get like a, a Latin American scene an Asian scene. Sure, things, you know, cross over and break out and, and make it to uh, the mainstream and make it to other countries, but Africa, I mean, you could go, go through pretty much every, uh, you know, culture. There's going to be groups that are, are really popular, you know, internally within that country or within that, um, within that continent or area. And like the whole pop scenes, whole uh, folk scenes within these cultures it's really beautiful it's its well worth checking out and it's uh, great to get out of your comfort zone and it's great to get something completely different on the channel Robert Pretorius thank you so much for this uh, fascinating pick I cannot wait to get to your next one which is going to be on the next video because that's right Robert has made two selections so Robert thank you so much for your support I hope the next one is half as interesting and uh, 
wonderful as this one. If you, yeah, you, if you out there have a reaction request that you would definitely like to get on this channel, the only way I can guarantee your request being on the channel is via the PayPal link. And it also helps the channel, uh, supports the channel and makes things better over here. I do also have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month. You get access to the blocked videos. Please do remember to hit that subscribe button, like button, leave a comment. It really helps me out. And remember, you, as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full and free 30-day trial over at Drumio. Go learn from the world's best drummers and drum teachers on me for free. Guys, until next time, keep chopping wood, take it easy, ciao.